Now we're going to try to understand gyroscopic phenomena. If it's not spinning, when you let go, it falls over. When you spin it, the gyroscopic forces hold it up and it doesn't fall. Now let's redo that type of experiment using tanks of water. We're going to first do an experiment where I just take a, a, a packet of creamer, half and half. This is colder and denser than the water in, in this tank. And this dense creamer is going to sink. Dense things sink. So this is going to sink through the water and we're going to see how it does so. And what you see is that the, the creamer quickly falls through forming a, a dense turbulent plume hits the bottom and immediately spreads out. It looks somewhat like an inverted mushroom cloud because it is. So now to compare what we saw in the non-rotating tank to a, a case where there is rotation, we've set up a, tr a record player as you see here and we've got a comparable tank of water on it and we've let that tank of water spin up so that all the, the fluid is moving at the same rate as the record player. So all the fluid mechanics knows about the rotation of the table. And now we're going to do the exact same experiment where we pour in the creamer. And what you see is a different behavior. The fluid this time forms an axialized column. All the fluid motions are aligned with the rotation axis. The fluid isn't falling very fast through the layer and now that column starts to break up into sub-columns and uh, it eventually breaks apart into these different units but all of them are each being held up basically by the Coriolis acceleration.